Well, hello, my friends. We meet again. I love Sabaton, and you know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. You know, you see the title of this video. Today, we're going to be going and plotting every single battle that Sabaton has sung about onto a map. I got the map pulled up here. It's just a map I got off Wikipedia. Don't shoot me with any of the borders here. We'll leave it at that. You know, hot as balls out today. I think it's like 34 degrees, which is very hot here for Canada. So what better way than to spend a very hot day than sitting inside and doing something completely pointless. <laughs> oh, no. I've had this idea for quite a while and uh, yeah, you know, let's get on with it. We'll be doing uh, every Sabaton album and the singles. I will not be adding any of the bonus tracks as this is going to be long enough as it is. And you know, this is going to be a pretty fun video. Hopefully you'll learn something. I know I learned a few things preparing for this video. Let's get on to it here. Like, comment, leave a sub, you know, all that jazz. So for their first album we'll be doing here is Primo Victoria, which we will mark with orange dots. Primo Victoria, you know, it's their first album. I know it's not their first that they recorded, but it's the first chronologically, uh, if that makes any sense to you. So yeah, we'll be doing Orange Dots. So the first track off that one is Primo Victoria, which is obviously about the Normandy landings. So we will go to Normandy, France, put a nice dot right there for it. Uh, Reign of Terror, the next song, is about the Gulf War from the early 1990s. Uh, it's about Saddam Hussein's reign. So we're gonna put it uh, right in Kuwait this time. We're gonna put the dot in Kuwait. Obviously, there was more fighting going along there, but, uh, you know, he invaded Kuwait, which is sort of the spark for the Gulf War, so... Let's just put it that there. Panzer Battalion. You know, this is one of my favorite Sabaton tracks. It just rips. And it's actually not about the Second World War Panzers. It is actually about Operation Iraqi Freedom. And this is actually about the American tank or Panzer Visions attack and what they did. So for this one, we will put this right on to Baghdad. And so uh, Baghdad, I think it's uh, right Ooh. here. So I think got that nice brisk. Ice T Zero here we're drinking today in this hot, hot, hot day. Next song is uh, Wolfpack. This song is about Wolfpack Hexed, Hexed, Hexed. Hecht. This song is about Wolfpack Hexed's <gasps> successful attack and sinking of several merchant ships in a convoy in 1942. Uh, Wolfpacks are obviously like U boat Wolfpacks. So we're going to put this uh, dot right in the middle of the North Atlantic. I think they uh, were sunk somewhere around here and then they've managed to land in St. John's. So we're going to put one right there. You know what? These dots are a little bit too small, so I'm actually just going to make them a little bit bigger so we can see them from further away. Okay, there we go. Counter-Strike. This song is about the Six-Day War, and we'll place this one sort of right in the Sinai Peninsula, right where the sort of initial battle between the Egyptians and Israelis took place. Right, the uh, Israelis came and, you know, went ham, essentially. So we'll just put this... Oh, here, right in the Sinai, why not? Stalingrad. This song is about one of the bloodiest battles in human history, the Battle of Stalingrad. Uh, so we'll place this dot right on the city of Stalingrad, which is now called Volgograd in modern-day Russia, which is... Uh, I think it's right about here. I think the Volga River kind of comes here. Into the Fire. So this song is about the Vietnam War and, in my opinion, the absolutely heinous use of napalm during the conflict. So we're going to place this right sort of smack dab in the middle of Vietnam, maybe, maybe around here. And then the other two tracks on this album, Purple Heart and Metal Machine, you know, they don't really mention specific conflicts or battles, so I'm just going to leave them out. So now we're moving on to the next Sabaton album, Etero Dominatus, and we'll be using black dots for this one. So the first song, Atero Dominatus, this song is about the Battle of Berlin, 1945. You know, one of the final battles of the European theater. And from reading the lyrics, this is about the Soviet perspective. So we are going to place this dot right on the city of Berlin, which is right there. Nuclear Attack. So this one is about the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know, I got to pick one of these places to put it. So I'm just going to put it right over Hiroshima. And Hiroshima, I think it's right about here. 
Rise of Evil. This song is basically just an overview of how Germany, you know, came back and came to rise under Hitler. It mentions the Anschluss. So let's just put it right here over Hitler's hometown of Braunau on Inn, which is, you know, basically on the Inn River, which I believe is like here. But let me double check, actually. It's actually like here. Next song, In the Name of God. No real specific one mentioned here, so no dot. We Burn. This is the first one I had to look up. I'm, mean, you know, I'm very unfamiliar with the entire Yugoslavian wars of the 90s. It is about the, and again, I'm going to be butchering all these, so I'll just put the name right after here. Srebrenica. The Srebrenica Massacre. Sorry for butchering it. All right, so just a little correction here. I totally misplaced where it was. When I first placed it here, uh, don't shoot me. It's actually right here. Uh, I caught this like a little bit later, so you're seeing it later on, so you might see a few dots here, but yes, the Srebrenica Massacre happened here. Angels Calling. This one is about trench warfare during the First World War. You know, it doesn't really mention a specific battle, and we'll have tons of dots for the First World War later on, so we'll just skip it. Back in Control. This is about the Falklands War from the British perspective. The Falklands are way down here, near uh, Argentina, right down here. So we'll put it right here on the city of Stanley. Light in the Black. This is about peacekeeping forces. The UN peacekeepers have been in tons of diverse places, and it doesn't really mention any specific, so no dot for this one. Metal Crew, no dot for this one either. And all right, so next up, we have their third album, Metalizer. I know this is recorded as their debut, but it's chronologically released as its third. I don't know, it's a whole mess. I, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Uh, for this one, we'll be using a bone color for the dots. Not a lot of dots for this album, actually. Of all the tracks, only Burn Your Cross mentions anything specific to a battle. This is about the Spanish Inquisition, so let's just put it in Toledo. Toledo, Spain, not Toledo, Ohio. Which is... Boom. Uh, right about there. Alright, okay, so enough of that. So now we're moving on to their fourth album, Art of War. Hear them whisper, voices from the other side. One of my favorites by them easily, and we will use dark red dots for this one, as it sort of matches the cover. Ghost Division. This song is about the 7th Panzer Division during the Battle of France in 1940. Notably, one of the commanders in this division was the now famous Erwin Rommel. This division got its nickname due to its seemingly constant overachievement, and both the German and Allied commands would simply lose track of where this division actually was it had advanced so quickly, giving it the name Ghost Division. So we place this dot right here in one of the villages it captured in Rouen, France, which is right about here or so. And listen, listen, if you live in one of these places and I misplaced a dot ever so slightly, I'm very Why sorry. <laughs> I'm just a North American scumbag who has played a lot of GeoGuessr and spent a lot of time looking at Google Maps, so forgive me. So the next song we have is Art of War. So this is about the world famous Art of War by Sun Tzu. Doesn't really mention anything specific, but I mean, this text is so famous and important, we might as well put it in. Sun Tzu was from the state of Qi, which is now Shaodong, China. So the dot will go right here in Shaodong, basically. Not exactly sure where he was from in there, it's just what it said. The song bangs too, I love this track. So next we have the song 40 to 1. This is about the Battle of Vinca during the invasion of Poland in 1939, where Poland was dogpiled upon by both Germany and the Soviet Union. Nicknamed as the Polish Thermopylae, a very small number of Polish forces in a fortified position was able to hold out against a much, much larger and much more well-armed German force. So the dot goes right here where the village of Vinca is in modern-day Poland, which, which is sort of like right here. Unbreakable. This song is about guerrilla warfare. I mean, there are countless, countless examples of guerrilla warfare out there, so no doubt. Cliffs of Gallipoli. This song is some of my personal favorites from Sabaton. I love that piano that plays during the verses and that big piano you right at the beginning. This is about the crazy, ambitious, amphibious invasion of Gallipoli by the Entente forces of the First World War. Truly whole crazy story. Uh, look it up. The channel, The Great War did a great job on this whole thing. So yeah, go check it out. And Gallipoli is right here in modern day, basically right there in modern day Turkey, right? Talvi Sota, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably wrong. This song is about the Winter War, where the Soviet Union in 1939 invaded Finland and they faced extremely stiff resistance. And despite the bravery that Finland fought with, it was eventually forced to come to terms in 1940. So I'm going to put this dot right here on the Karelian Isthmus 
where much of the battle took place on. Panzerkampf. This is about the Battle of Kursk in 1943, famously known as the largest tank battle in history. Nearly 3 million men and 10,000 tanks were involved in this titanic struggle. And Kursk is right about here in modern day Russia. Union. So this song is about the battle for Rome in 1944. Although when I looked up this, it was specifically about the Battle of Monte Cassino, which is just uh, southeast of Rome. So we'll place the dot right over Monte Cassino which is just a little bit southeast of Rome. The Price of a Mile, another one of my favorite Sabaton songs. Just great, epic, epic track. It's about the Battle of Passchendaele during the First World War. The chorus gives me goosebumps every time here, and there'll be a lot of tracks mentioning Passchendaele as just such a, it's just such an important battle, and I think the name of the village in English and the fact that it was filled with mud and gas and everything like that really uh, lends to its legendary status, I suppose, I guess. Anyways, we'll put this right over the village of Passchendaele in Belgium, and and Pashadale is like right here so basically so firestorm this song is about second world war war crimes uh i mean strategic bombings love this song of course absolutely rips uh but no dot here as strategic bombing sort of occurred you know all over the place basically all right so that's enough for art of war and now we move on to code of arms which will be use bright red dots for this one here Coat of Arms. This song is about the Italian invasion of Greece in 1940 through Albania. It sings about the heroic effort of the Greeks in defending their homeland. One of my favorite tracks, easily, not only because the song absolutely slaps and that chorus is just so powerful, but also because my grandfather fought in this same battle that is sung about here. So I got a picture of it here, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Maybe I'll just put it, take a picture and put it in the video, but here he is. Christos Vavitsiotis, and he is who I'm named after as my first name is Chris. He fought as a light reconnaissance tank driver, and here's a photo of that I took when I was in Greece in the Museum of War. And here's a photo of me standing next to the village sign of Elahori, which is where he was from. You know, his tank was disabled in this battle when he swapped seats with his gunner for a brief period of time, and while they were switched seats, uh, the gunner who was driving, drove over a mine, who which then exploded, blew up the tank, sent my grandfather flying out of the tank. He landed, you know, a couple meters away. The guy who he swapped seats with, the driver, in the explosion lost both of his legs, and my grandfather got away with minor injuries. Uh, you know, just little things like that in war, you know what I mean, right? After that, he fought on foot for a while, I assume due to equipment shortages and everything like that. He told me a story of how, when the Germans joined the war in 1941, he was chased through a vineyard by a group of German soldiers soldiers and during this chase one of the German soldiers fired upon him and a bullet actually grazed his cheek. After the Greek army surrendered in 1941 he became a prisoner of war briefly before being recruited as a member of the military police after Greece was liberated later on. He then fought in the Greek civil war against the communists and then after this I assume he just had enough and was fed up and went to Canada where he met my grandmother and thus you have me. So, so there you go I'm part Greek I bet no one could guess that and uh, when he came over the border agents shortened his name from Barbit Siotis to Varvis, which is where you see the channel name here. So there you go, just a little Varvis trivia for you. But for this dot here, Koto Arms, we will just put it right in Ionia, sort of right on the border where all this is happening here. All right, so the next battle we have is the Battle of Midway. The Battle of Midway was one of the major decisive naval battles during the Pacific War between the Allies and Japan, more specifically the USA and Japan. It was sort of, you know, the turning point where the Americans finally struck back and destroyed a lot of Japanese carriers here. I wrote a senior level paper on this battle in university, and there's lots of great documentaries out there on that. So yeah, check it out. And so this battle took place on Midway Atoll, which I think on this map is like right here. I don't know, it kind of divides the Pacific in half, so it kind of gets me skewed, but you know, Hawaiian Islands are here, Midway's sort of here, so uh, it, it'll be there. That'll, that'll be where the dot goes. Okay. Uprising. So this song is about the Warsaw Uprising. It mentions specifically the 1944 Uprising, not the earlier one from 1943. This Uprising saw like 90% of the city destroyed, crazy stuff. I think there's a movie on this one too. So yeah, we'll put the dot right here. I think Warsaw is like right about there. Screaming Eagles, another one of my favorite tracks. This one is about the 101st Airborne Division during the Battle of the Bulge in 1944. It focuses on the Siege of Bastogne. So we will put 
the dot on the town of Baston, Belgium. And uh, Baston is like right here, basically right on the border of Luxembourg. The final solution, uh, I think we all know what this one is about. I'm not trying to get demonetized ganked here. I will put it where, so put the, yeah, so put this right where the Camp Dachau was located, which is just sort of uh, north of Munich. I think right about there. Uh, Aces in exile. This one is about exile pilots during the Battle of Britain. Most of them were Polish, Czech, Belgium, even some French uh, fighters there. So for this one, let's just put the dot right in the middle of the English Channel to represent, you know, the fighting over the channel, I suppose. Uh, Saboteurs. This song is about the sabotage of the Norwegian Heavy Water Labs, which was a successful operation carried out by Allied forces to sabotage the heavy water research that was being carried out there in 1943, all part of, like nuclear research, I suppose. It destroyed the power plant at, at uh, Fenmork, Fenmork, I think. I don't know, I'm butchering that too. I'll, I'll put that one in too. We'll put the dot right there, which is like here in Norway, I think, on the map. So next song, Wehrmacht. The song is about the Wehrmacht in general, which fought in many places. Uh, so no dot here. The White Death. This song is about Simu Haiha. Sorry for bitching the name again, Finnish bros. He was an extremely successful sniper during the Winter War, which I mentioned earlier. Arguably, probably the most successful sniper in history. So we will place another dot where he was born in Vipori province, Finland, which I think is right about here where he was born. Metal Ripper, uh, cool song, but uh, no battles here. Now we move on to the album Carolus Rex. <laughs> Probably tied for my favorite Sabaton release with Art of War. I'll only do the English versions titles as I don't want to butcher any more names necessary here. <laughs> Other than I already have. This album is about the rise and fall of the Swedish Empire from like 1611 up until around, you know, 1720. And we will use Swedish blue dots for this one here. The Line from the North. This song is about the great Swedish king Gustav II. He fought in many battles. But like other historical figures they have done and sung about, I'll just put the dot where he was born, which is Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, so we'll put this in Stockholm, Sweden, which is uh, right about here. Oh. Gott mit uns. Uh, meaning God is with us in English. This song is about the 1631 Battle of Breitenfeld, or sometimes referred to as the Battle of Leipzig. Although they probably changed the name in relation to the larger Battle of Leipzig from the Napoleonic era. Uh, Gustavus led a Protestant, Swedish, and Saxon army against the Catholic Imperial forces. It was the first Protestant victory of the Thirty Years' War. So we will put the dot right here on Leipzig, which is basically here. More or less. A Lifetime of War. Another one of my favorite Sabaton songs. You know, I really love their slower and more spacious songs. This song is about the misery of the Thirty Years' War, which depopulated some areas of Germany by up to 30%, which is really, really crazy when you think about it. No dot for this one, though, as that sort of happened all over the continent. So the next song, then, would be 1648. This is about the 1648 Battle of Prague, which saw Swedish forces besieging Prague, and, you know, the result was indecisive. However, some parts of Prague got destroyed, blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. So the dot goes, uh, you know, right about here, right where, right where Prague is. The Carolines Prayer. Uh, no dot for this one, but the Carolines were a force of highly trained Swedish soldiers employed rather unusual tactics for that era of marching straight towards the enemy not firing a single round at all until they could see the whites of the enemy's eyes once they did which is around about like 50 yards they would fire some muskets advance again then they would fire some more muskets at around 20 yards and then they would take out their pikes and sabers and charge the enemy the very aggressive tactics worked very well in there were you know You've seen some of those movies where they all stand in lines and just shoot each other from afar. Yeah, pretty cool stuff and another really great song there. But, you know, they fought many places, so no dot for this one. Next song is Killing Ground. This song is about the 1706 Battle of Fraustadt, where Swedish forces engaged Saxon and Imperial Russian forces. The Swedes were outnumbered around two to one and managed a stunning victory due to the credit of the Karolians. Fraustadt is now this name uh, in Poland, so the dot will go there. And and uh, according to my map here, Fraustadt was right around there. Poltova. So this song is about the disastrous defeat of Swedish forces in 1709, in which the Imperial Russian forces managed to use the aggressive tactics of the Carolians against them and lured them into attacking very heavily fortified positions. This disastrous defeat meant the beginning of the end of Sweden as a great military powder. Poltova is located here in modern-day Ukraine, and so it's located, you know, just 
to the east, basically, of the Dnieper River, right around here, I believe. Long Live the King. So this song is about the death of Charles XII of Sweden, who was shot in the head during the siege of Fredrikstad, Norway, in 1718. This will go here on the location of Fredrikstad, which is located right near the Swedish border, right around here. Runa Imperi. So this song is about the Carolean death march after the death of King Charles. Marching through the tidal mountain range, they were ordered to go besiege Trondheim. And of the 58,000 men who left off, only about 2,100 survived. And 600 of those survivors were actually crippled for life. A lot of these were actually Finnish soldiers as well. So let's put this dot right on the tidal mountain range. So let's put this right on the tidal mountain range, which is sort of uh, up here, more or less. So up next now, we have the album Heroes, which is an entire album about, well, Heroes. We will use a turquoise green for this one. Night Witches. So this song is about an all-female regiment of the Soviet Air Force. They were given the name Night Witches as they would attack at night with idling engines in their planes. They made the sound of like a broom flying by or something, I guess. Thus giving them the nickname Night Witches. They fought from 1942 until the end of the war and they were named the 46 Taman Guards Night Bomber aviation regiment. So we will put the dot right here on the Taman Peninsula, which is where they gained that name. The Taman Peninsula is right here. No bullets fly. This is called the Charlie Brown and Franz Stiegler incident. A harrowing story of mercy where German pilot Franz Stiegler shot and disabled a bomber piloted by Charlie Brown. No, not that Charlie Brown. Franz instead escorted the crippled bomber over German airspace back to friendly airspace over top of the sea. And 50 years later, the pilots were able to meet in person. That's a wonderful story of mercy. The plane was damaged during a bombing run over Bremen, so we will put it over top of the city of Bremen. Smoking Snakes. This song is about three Brazilian soldiers who bravely fought and defended their positions during the Battle of Montes, Italy. They were all killed in action and the Germans buried them under crosses which read three Brazilian heroes. So the dot goes right here over Montes. Inmate 4859. The song is about Witold Pilecki, who was a Polish soldier who was interned voluntarily at Auschwitz concentration camp. Crazy story, and there's a lot on this guy, so go look him up. Truly some crazy stuff here. Yeah, so uh, we'll put this right where Auschwitz was located, which is right about uh, here or so. So, next song, To Hell and Back. This song is about American Audie Murphy, and specifically his poem, Crosses Grow on Anzio from his book, which is, shares the name of the song, To Hell and Back. Audie Murphy won every single medal available for Valor and participated in the Battle of Anzio, including the invasion of Sicily and the battle in which the song talks about was in Anzio, Italy, which was uh, southwest of Rome, right around there. The Ballad of Bull. So this is another great track from Sabaton, very emotional. This song's about Australian soldier, Leslie Bull Allen. He rescued 12 American soldiers during the Papua New Guinea campaign of the Second World War. If you listen to uh, the Dan Carlin podcast, Supernova in the East, probably you know that that might have been the most brutal conditions to fight of in all of uh, the Second World War. We'll put his dot over here in Papua New Guinea, right around where Port Mosby is, I think maybe there. Resist and Bite. So this song is about the Belgian soldiers in the Chasseau Adene, which was an infantry formation who bravely fought and defended their home country during the Battle of Belgium in the Second World War. So we will put this dot here in the Ardennes Forest. Oops. Soldier of Three Armies. This song is about Lauri Tomi, otherwise known as Larry Thorne, who fought in the Finnish army, the German army, and then also later for the USA in Vietnam. A great story on this guy, lots of stuff on him. He was born in Vipuri, Finland, which is now Vyborg, Russia. So we will put that here. Vyborg. Far from the flame. Uh, this song is about Air Marshal Karel Janosek. Karel Janosek. Again, sorry for butchering this stuff. I'll just put the pronunciations here. He was Air Marshal of Czechoslovakia and later of the Free Czech Forces in Exile. So we'll put another dot onto Prague for this man. Hearts of Iron. This song is about the Battle of Halba in the closing weeks of the European campaign in the Second World War. German soldiers created a corridor over the Elba River to protect fleeing refugees and soldiers in order to escape and surrender to the Allies rather than the Soviets. So we'll put the dot right there on the Elba River. So now we move on to 2016's Last Stand. Uh, 
Uh, I listened to this one like crazy when I was in university in 2016. Great stuff on here. Concept album all about historical last stands. For this one, just to add some variety, we'll use green dots here. Sparta, about the Battle of Thermopylae. Probably the most famous last stand in history. Greeks and Persians squared off in the Pass of Thermopylae, and a group of several hundred Spartans and Thespians remained in the pass and fought a valiant rearguard action last stand. Some of the Thespians surrendered while all the Spartans were killed essentially. The delay that they caused allowed several crucial days to evacuate the Greek forces and eventually led to a major defeat of the Persians at sea. So we'll put the dot here on the pass of Thermopylae. Which is right around there. Last Dying Breath. So this song is about the defense of Belgrade during the First World War, defending against the combined German, Austria, Hungary forces. Here the dot goes right over here in Belgrade. Which is right about there. This song is about the Battle of Bannockburn, in which Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, fought a brave last stand against King Edward II of England. The victory here resulted in Scottish independence. Yeah, so we'll put that right where the battle took place, which was uh, sort of west of Edinburgh, basically. Right about there. Look at that, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff in Europe. Come on, Sabaton, you gotta share the love all over the world here, come on. What's going on? Diaring of an Unknown Soldier. It's an interlude, so we'll skip it. The Lost Battalion. This is about the Battle of the Argonne in the closing months of the First World War. This is the largest commitment of US forces to any single battle during this war. This song is about a battalion that gets separated and lost in the forest and has to make their last stand. So we will put the dot here in the Argonne Forest which is right around here or so. Rourke's Drift. So this song is about the Battle of Rourke's Drift from the British perspective, where 140 British soldiers defending their position against 3,000 to 4,000 Zulu warriors. The dot goes down here in South Africa where Rourke's Drift is located. It's right about there. The Last Stand. So another one of my favorite Sabaton tracks. This one is about the last stand of the Swiss Guards during the 1527 sack of Rome. They were all killed, but their stand allowed Pope Clement VII to escape and go into hiding where he was later paid and ransomed to survive, basically. So another dot goes on to Rome. Hill 3234. A unique setting for a Sabaton, Soviets versus the Mujahideen fighters during the Soviet-Afghan War. 48 Soviets defending their hill against around 250 Mujahideen soldiers. The dot goes here in Afghanistan, sort of where I believe the hill was located. Yeah, okay, I couldn't really find where, where this was, so uh, we'll go there, I guess. It's, it's in Afghanistan, anyways. Shiroyama. So this is one of my, another one of my favorite songs. This one is about the Battle of Shiroyama, which was the final battle of the Satsuma Rebellion, in which the traditional samurai made their last stand against imperial Japanese forces and as the song said the song meets the gun so the dot goes right here on Kagoshima Japan here basically on the south of Japan. Wing to SARS. So this is about the Second Battle of Vienna, where Ottoman forces had besieged the city once again. Yet in the 11th hour, the Polish Wing to SARS and other forces came through. 18,000 cavalrymen, most of them Polish Wing to SARS, but there were some other forces in there too, would stage the largest cavalry charge in history. Imagine the sound of 18,000 horses running towards you. Like, damn, crazy. Here we'll put the dot over top of the city of Vienna which is right about there. The last battle, uh, one of the strangest stories on the list in the last two days of the First World War where Americans, Wehrmacht soldiers, and French prisoners of war defended Castle Ita, Iter in the North Tyrol against Waffen SS troops. So we will put the dot where Castle Iter is in North Tyrol, Österreich, or Austria which is like here, basically. So moving on to The Great War, Sabaton's ninth album, and it's all about the First World War. So we'll use yellow dots for this one. First song is The Future Warfare. So this song is about the introduction of tanks into warfare, where the first time they were ever used in battle in history, at the Battle of Fleur, fleur Courcelet, where the first appearance of tanks in battle was 1916. The British fielded 49 Mark I tanks here. So we'll put the dot right where the village of Fleur is, which is basically like here. 
more or less. Seven Pillars of Wisdom. This song is about T. Lawrence, otherwise known as Lawrence of Arabia, and all that he did during the Arab revolts during the First World War, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, you know, this sort of happened all over and he had a long journey all over the place. But let's just put the dot over Medina, where the Hejaz Railway ended, which was a very important part of this whole rebellion. So Medina is right about here. 82nd all the way. This song is about the same battle in which the song Lost Battalion was about, so we'll put another dot right next to it. Attack of the Dead Man. So this battle took place at Osoviec Fortress, where Russians who were gassed with chlorine and bromine gas managed to attack and rout the Germans while coughing up blood, uh, covering their faces, and looking like dead men, hence the name. So we'll put the dot in the location of the fortress, which is now north East Poland. And so this one's located pretty close to uh, that other dot there. Devil Dogs. So this song is about the actions of the US Marines at the Battle of Bela Wood. The dot goes right here on Bela Wood. Uh, I think that's right about there. The Red Baron. This song is about the Red Baron Manfred von Richthofen. Probably one of the most famous pilots ever with over 80 air victories. He was shot down and killed in 1918 over Morlancourt, France, which is where the dot will go. So that is basically like here, more or less. A lot of dots, a lot of dots in this area, I was saying. Great War. This song is about the great suffering of the soldiers during the First World War. Uh, no dot is just about the First World War in general. A Ghost in the Trenches. This song is about Francis Pegamagabo. Francis Pegamagabo. Who was an Ojibwe soldier fighting in Canada during the First World War. He's one of the most decorated soldiers ever in Canadian history. And during the war, he was renowned for his swift and ghost-like movement in the trenches and his extreme skill with a rifle. He was credited with 378 kills as a sniper and captured over 300 German prisoners, many of them he captured by himself. So we will put the dot on the Battle of the Scarp where he participated in. So this one, you know, surprise, surprise, was in Northeast France, right around there. Fields of Verdun. This song is about the Battle of Verdun, which is truly one of the darkest and bloodiest battles in human history. Millions of men participated on both sides and nearly 300,000 men were killed and countless hundreds of thousands of others were missing and wounded. I will put it here over the city of Verdun. Right about there. The War to End All Wars, a song about the armistice and casualties of the First World War, which is signed on a train car in the Nicompian Forest. So the dot goes here, just north of Paris. All right, so on to the latest Sabaton release, War to End All Wars. We use an ice blue color for these dots here. Sarajevo. This song is about the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, who was the heir to the Austrian throne, which was the ignition of the powder keg of Europe to the First World War, so to speak. It took place in Sarajevo, so the dot will go there. Stormtroopers. This is about German assault troops or Sturmtruppen. Famous author of Storm of Steel, Ernst Junger, was famously part of these groups of stormtroopers, and they fought all over the place in World War I, so no dot here for these guys. Dreadnought. This song is about the Dreadnought class of battleships, which were massive, massive ships who faced off only in one battle, which was the Battle of Jutland in 1916. So we will put that here in the North Sea, about where it took place. Is, which was like right around here or so. Soldier of Heaven. This song is about the Austro-Italian front of the First World War in which a lot of the fighting took place on mountains. White Friday was December 11th, 1916, where a series of avalanches killed up to 200 soldiers and a few dozen civilians. It took place in the Dolomite Mountains, so we'll put the dot right in here. Some of the most brutal fighting imaginable. Can't imagine climbing and fighting mountains and hauling artillery pieces up mountain passes. Uh, crazy, crazy. So put that right out there on the Dolomites. Hellfighters. So this song is about the Harlem Hellfighters, a notable regiment of the U.S. Army during the First World War, known for being one of the first African-American regiments to serve with the AEF. We will put the dot for them on the village of Seychelles, Seychelles uh, which they captured in 1918 which was uh, right about here. Race to the Sea. So this song tells about the Race to the Sea, which was a series of attempted outflanking maneuvers done after the initial German advance stalled in 1914, just outside of Paris. It sings about how King Albert of Belgium fought alongside his soldiers during the battle, during the Battle of the Yser. So we will put the dot right there, which was basically right, right near the uh, Belgian coast there. 
Lady of the Dark. This song is about a female Serbian soldier named Milanka Savic, who fought in several wars for Serbia from 1912 to 1919. She's the most decorated female soldier in history, actually. So we'll put another dot in Belgrade for her. The Valley of Death. So this song is about the Balkan front in which Bulgarian forces defended the position near the Dorjan Lakes from three separate Entente assaults. We will put the dot here on Dorjan Lake, which is basically just north of uh, Thessaloniki here. The Christmas Truce, the next song. So one of the most human and bittersweet stories to come out during the First World War. Look into it if you're interested. It took place all over the Western Front in 1914, so no doubt for this one, sadly. And Versailles. This song's about the Treaty of Versailles, which is signed in the Palace of Versailles. Not really a battle per se, but uh, certainly a diplomatic one. So we'll put the dot on the Palace of Versailles, which is just outside of Paris. Maybe like there or so. Okay, so that's all the album tracks done. So now we'll match up with the singles, and we'll be using a purple color for this one. First one is Bismarck. So the Bismarck was not only the Chancellor, Otto von Bismarck, but a super heavy class of battleship, which was sunk during its first offensive voyage. The Great Channel Drakenfeld does a great job on it. It was finally sunk west off the coast of France, so we'll put the dot right around there, so where it was. Father, so this song is about the father of poison gas. Not really a dot to be put here either. Kingdom Come, a man of war cover, don't mention a specific battle. Steel Commanders, a song about the tank commanders through the ages. They mention a few battles here and there, but uh, we'll put the dot on El Alanim, as we don't really have anything there otherwise. And uh, El Alanim was basically right here. What's up guys, just editing the video. I realized I had forgotten the song about this Giga Chad right here. Sir Adrian Paul Gislaine Carton de Viart, Viart maybe. Uh, yeah, this guy was an absolute giga chad. I uh, fought in the Boer War, First World War, Second World War. Pure giga chad, great story. I also think he wielded a long sword in the war. I think that was one of those things too. But uh, you know, just another more guy. Sorry, I forgot about it. You could put a dot on your map at Brussels, Belgium, which is where he was born. All right, so yeah, there we go. That's pretty much all of the dots here. I'm just gonna move my camera. Yeah, so you can see most of the battles took place in Europe. Uh, they sung about a few things in Asia, one in Afghanistan, uh, one in Vietnam, basically a couple in China, one or two in Japan, one in Papua New Guinea down there. But I mean, like, there's a whole crazy amount of Chinese history battles that they could sing about. Uh, a lot of Russian stuff, nothing about Genghis Khan either. You know, he did a lot of things in India, a lot of stuff here, you know, and then pretty much nothing, actually nothing in North America. You know, there's a decent amount of battles here and there's a lot of material, but you know, I get it. They're, they're Swedish, right? So what can you say? Anyways. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, this was a fun little experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't piss anyone off too bad with my terrible pronunciations and one misplaced dot. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Varvis. Thanks for checking in. Cheers.